We're just a few days away from Chinese New Year, and as families and friends gather to celebrate, there are potential health risks uh, we should look out for. For more insights on this, we have Dr. John Cheng, Head of Primary Care and Family Physician from Healthway a Medical Group, and he joins us right now. Uh, Dr. Cheng, thanks for joining us now. People tend to do a lot of spring cleaning uh, as it leads up to Chinese New Year. What are some injuries that you see? Obviously, people will be moving a lot of boxes and a lot of dust as well. So are you seeing people with maybe asthma and maybe back injuries coming through? Are, are those common? Um, yes, definitely. So um, a lot of times when we do spring cleaning, mm -hmm. right, so we do need to move around furniture. We do need to do some heavy liftings. So I think back care, um, back injuries are very likely. Um, and also, um, we need to clean the top of carpets also. Right, so a lot of people using the chairs or using uh, uh, small stairs right, um, to reach to the top and for some decals and all. Um, so those are likely to cause injuries or fall as well. Um, and also all the dust when, yeah. you, when, you, when you start cleaning. Right? So under the bed, under the tray tables, they'll be dusty. Right? So that might trigger asthma attacks or even allergy reactions. Uh, when you talk about people who end up with back troubles or maybe, you know, standing on a, on a chair that could be a bit dangerous, you know, do you get a lot of old people slipping and falling coming, coming off uh, maybe those, those chairs or tables? Well, actually, I, I see more on the young people. Really? Yeah. Well, that's a surprise. Yeah, because I, I guess like old people doesn't normally climb up on the, on the stairs to clean. Oh, so they right? get the, the younger ones to do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, and then what sort of injuries? Do they, do they hurt themselves because of back injury or they dislocate their, their, their arms? What sort of injuries are you seeing? Um, like most, most, most of the patients come to my clinic, um, they are not that serious. Okay. So I don't see that many fractures, but seldomly um, there can be cases of um, slip disc. Mm. Right, but mainly just musculoskeletal, just muscle pains. So it's very important when you're doing spring cleaning, you've got to make sure someone's around as well to, to assist and, and make sure you're not taking on too big a risk as you're reaching out to clean that bit of dust, huh? Well, definitely, definitely. There's always good to have someone to watch out. Yeah, uh, I, I was wondering about fatigue as well because some people just they, they get very obs obsessed with wanting to have a very, very clean house. Nothing wrong with that. But obviously, they, they're spending so much of time cleaning and, and, and clearing up uh, things that they, they don't want around the house that they could end up being fatigued. Is that a problem too? Well, that can definitely be a problem. I mean, um, a lot of people, you'll be, you'll be surprised. Actually, Chinese New Year, do, even, every time during festive season, mm -hmm. um, a lot of people are actually very stressed about it. Yes. Yeah, because um, there, there are so many things to prepare. There are so many um, you know, uh, cleanings and, and there, there are many, many things that, do, especially Chinese New Year, it's a, it's a, it's a big uh, festival and, um, and, and uh, spring cleaning is one, you know, reunion dinner is, is another big thing, right? So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm stressed about my you know, oh, really? coming over here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can imagine. So how do you overcome it? How do you tell people to take it easy? You know, do you tell them, do you encourage them to get more help? to make sure they have uh, their, their sleeping patterns aren't unaffected at all? What, what, you, what sort of advice do, do you offer? Right, so um, I think stress management, uh, stress itself is already a big topic, mm -hmm. um, but normally I advise uh, my patient that, right, so perhaps you want to pace, pace yourself and have a checklist, and, and maybe you can delegate some work to other family members, right, and just take it easy, you know, see this as a, as a family thing, and, and not, don't take everything on yourself. And um, I think that's a, a good way to start. Have you noticed as well, because uh, sometimes around the office or when I'm uh, out on the streets, I, I've noticed more people coughing and sneezing as well, and it's leading up to this festive period. Uh, should they be seeing a, a doctor just to get maybe a booster jab, or uh, is there anything they can do to make sure that they're, they're really um, uh, ready and not, not have uh, that, that sick feeling when they, when they uh, celebrate Chinese New Year? All right, so I think that's a very good question, Langs. Um, it's a, it's, a, it's a common myth, right, mm -hmm. that a lot of people think, oh, I'm about to fall sick, you know, maybe I want to see a doctor, get a, get a jab and all that. But I think um, uh, statistically and evidence show that most, most, of a, uh, most of a common flu, you'll get better by yourself. So it's all down to lifestyle, right? Mm -hmm. So um, like proper sleep, you know, sleep in adequate hours, enough hydrations, regular exercises, and, and diet. I think everything, all, all this, uh, you'll boost up your immunity and your, your, your body can fight it off. Look, when it comes to Chinese New Year, there's a lot of great feasting, you know. Um, 
Uh, I've got my wife who, who enjoys having a, a, a great feast when, when Chinese New Year comes around. So can we talk about what's, what's something that, that's moderate in, 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 in food consumption? Because a lot of people tend to overeat. Mm. And then you have all these lovely snacks. You've got you know, your, your kueh lapis, you've got peanut cookies, you've got sesame balls, bakwa, pineapple tarts. Should we make sure we, we curb our intake on these things? Um, um, okay, so I think overeating is definitely, definitely not. not good. <laughs> but people tend to do that during Chinese yeah, New Year yeah, because so, it's a festive period. Yeah, so, so, so that's, uh, that's one of the um, challenges, right? So that's one of the challenges, even, even myself, right? So I, I, I want to indulge myself every now and then, yes. especially during the festive season together with the family. Um, but I think moderation is definitely the key. Right, overeating a lot of times all these delicacies, right, contains high sugar contents yeah. and high sodium. Right, so high sugar can cause a surge of insulin, uh, fat deposits, tiredness, fatigue, and even sodium can cause dehydration, uh, thirsty. Right, so I think moderation um, is actually the key. Do you see uh, a lot of uh, people who are celebrating Chinese New Year changing to healthier options, maybe having more fruit on the table, and maybe cutting down on? on some of the sh sugars that are involved in, in cake baking or cookies? Well, th definitely. I think, I think overall the population has, um, is already well educated mm -hmm. and the health awareness um, in Singapore is actually very high. So a lot of people are actually um, moving towards you know, um, less salty, less sugar and less fat fatty foods. I'm going to put you on the spot right now. Uh, how many pineapple tarts are you allowed a day then? Um, I'll, I'll, I'll say maybe about two. Two? That's not enough. Okay, thank you very much for coming in. Two, he said two. Now, we've been speaking to Dr. John Cheng, Head of Primary Care and Family Physician from Healthway Medical Group.